National Wear Red Day to raise awareness about women's heart health. That's right, and Dr. Marla Mendelson, the medical director of Women's Cardiovascular Health at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, joins us this morning. Thanks for getting up so early today. We know it's early. But um, first and foremost, we're, we're obviously trying to raise awareness, but what really is the message of today? That women need to take charge of their health men and women, it really is a universal message. Heart disease is still a problem. We've made incredible advances over the last 25, 30 years, but women were lagging behind and women don't always appreciate that they're at risk for heart disease and that's the most likely cause of death in women in this country. Wow. More Again, than, the most likely cause of death for women. Yes, more than cancer, more than the flu, it's, it's um, heart disease. Because I feel like when we hear heart disease, we think men. Of course. And we think of specific <laughs> symptoms that don't always affect women. Well, that's why we're all wearing red today, because we need to increase this awareness. And this has been going on since 2004, 2005. We've wow. had this campaign from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute and the American Heart Association. And it has raised awareness, but we still working uphill. We're still mm -hmm. trying to tell people, yes, everybody's got coronary arteries. Women may have a little bit of an op uh, an advantage until before menopause, but young women are still having heart attacks okay. and it's a matter of recognizing it. And you touched on this a little bit, but what are some of the misconceptions? Because I, the one thing that I always took away was that it's never gonna be that dramatic, clutch your heart, I'm having a heart attack moment. A lot of times the symptoms manifest themselves differently, right? They may, um, but they may manifest themselves in men and in women. There can be very subtle signs, jaw pain, lower jaw pain, huh chest pain, um, any type of chest pain, especially with exertion uh, associated with sweating, like the woman was talking about earlier, um, shortness of breath. You can have indigestion, but indigestion that occurs when you walk up a flight of stairs is not necessarily your stomach. So you have to be aware of these things and know your risk factors. If you're a person with at least one risk factor, it could be your heart and you have to think about that. Well, we are raising awareness today and we're very grateful for your time. Thank More you. Thank you for what this. you're doing. Thank you very much, Doctor. Okay.